if the side effect of a drug is worse than the ailment that it treats, should you really be taking it? You see these ads on TV for prescription medicines, you know, if, if you're having this problem or that problem, whatever it is, ask your doctor if this medication is right for you. Well, in the course of the advertisement, they always tell you the side effects, potential side effects. All medications cause side effects. Aspirin causes side effects. But I was watching this advertisement for this medication, and apparently it's an injectable medication, and it's supposed to be injected into tissue, into fat, into muscle, whatever. And it said in the disclaimer, if this medication is injected directly into a vein, it could cause paralysis or permanent blindness. And I, I think it was supposed to cure like indigestion or something, you know. Holy crap. You know, I... I think what is what is going on in America today uh, is is this this idea of, of instant gratification. If you want to know something, you Google it and you know right now. Remember when you used to have to look stuff up? You actually had to find an encyclopedia or find somebody who actually knew the answer when you had a problem, when you had a question. Well, now you just Google it and boom, you're there. It's this whole thing of instant gratification. The least little pain that somebody has, there's a pill for it. But I think people forget that there's a trade-off with anything. There is a negative side effect to pretty much anything you do. Instant gratification comes with a cost. And here we are at a red light challenge. My shout out to the cash cab guy. And while we're sitting here, you know, obviously my videos have no sponsorship, but if Porter Cable, for example, should decide to sponsor my video series, who am I to say no? If they would like to send me a check, I would make sure that their logo ha -ha, would show up in every video I do, and I would do one a week. Just saying. Hello, Porter Cable. This is really not an advertisement for Porter Cable. But anyway, now that we're moving again. Remember in the old days when you used to see old people walking with canes? You never see people walking with canes anymore. They get knee replacements and hip replacements and stuff like that. You know, when I was growing up, pretty much anybody over 80 years old walked with a cane. And what's wrong with, with getting older and having, having issues that you just deal with, you know? I used to have kidney stones a lot. And I've taken steps to kind of make sure that I don't have kidney stones anymore. But the doctors put me on this pain medication. Well, the side effect of this pain medication is constipation. I mean blocked up like you've got a brick wedged up inside of you. So I decided that I could just take, you know, generic Walmart brand ibuprofen. And if Walmart would like to sponsor me, that would be cool too. Um, but this generic Walmart brand ibuprofen, I could take four of them. And it wouldn't completely alleviate my pain, but it would take the edge off just enough so that I could function. Because the side effect of this pain medication was not working out for me. I figured it was better to just hurt. This is actually not a red light challenge. This is just a bunch of, of idiots stopped on the interstate. Well, on the ramp to the interstate. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Seriously. Seriously? 
Good Lord. Where do you people learn how to drive? You know, when I'm driving and, and I'm talking to the other vehicles, not that they can hear me, but when I'm talking to the other drivers on the road, my favorite word is seriously. Sometimes it becomes like a chant. Seriously. 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 But anyway, I digress. But again, no matter what's wrong with you, there's a pill for it. There's something that'll fix it. Just like you remember Grandma Clump, what she used to call relations. How about relations? Old people quit having relations. Well, guess what? They got a little blue pill now. You don't have to quit having relations just because you're 80 years old and got poor circulation. If there was a magic pill with no side effects that would fix it, then I would say, yeah, take it. But every medication has side effects. But the bottom line is, pretty much no matter what's wrong with me, unless I'm on my deathbed, if the potential side effect is paralysis, permanent blindness, or even death, I may just go ahead and deal with whatever's wrong with me. If you like my videos, click on the subscribe button and every time I do a new one, you'll get a notification on it. Share it with friends, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye now.